Hey everybody, we're going to look at creating reports only users in QuickBooks Online and talk about how that's set up and explore the different options that you have. So with Simple Start, you only get one user. Essentials, you get three users plus five and advanced 25. But notice that with a plus account and advanced account, you can have unlimited reports only users. And so that's great because um, you might want somebody to be able to log in and, and run a report at their convenience. And that's all you would like them to do is just jump in and, and run those reports at their convenience. And so we can set that up using reports only users. Now there are some limitations to those. So they will not be able to run any payroll reports, any payroll detail reports. They will not be able to see any individual transactions. In other words, they couldn't see um, a detail of an actual transaction. They were not going to be open up an invoice. They're not going to be open up a, a, a bill and see the, the, the details behind it. They're not going to be able to actually run list like a customer list with emails or a vendor list with phone numbers. They're not, that's going to be off limits as well. Uh, report only users cannot run audit log reports or they're not going to be able to see timestamps of activity of the QuickBooks online database. They, they will be able to see custom reports that others have admins have saved and created, but this is a big but. They will only be able to see the custom reports that were saved after they accepted the invite. So unfortunately, if your QuickBooks Online Plus or Advance has a lot of custom reports and you're wanting those users to get in and see them, unfortunately, they will not. They'll only see custom reports saved afterwards. So if that's the case, you might consider having those custom reports saved uh, and included a frequency of emailing out and you can email those out to, to folks outside without any, any login credentials and so forth. All right, so um, real quick, if you, if you don't have a QuickBooks Online a Plus or Advanced account and you're looking to get one, I've got a great deal where it's uh, a percentage off of QuickBooks Online for the next 12 months. So check out the links in the YouTube description below um, to get you set up on activating a account for uh, 50, 30 to 50% off, depending on the, the, the version that you get uh, for the next 12 months. It's better than what you'll see on the Intuit's public marketplace as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the demo. Here we go, I'm logged into my demo account. First step you do to add a reports only user, select the gear icon and then select manage users. And from here, you'll click the button that says add user. From here, it's just a matter of simply clicking on reports only, then click next and provide the credentials, first, last name in their email. Once you save it, an invite will go out to them where they've got 30 days to accept that invite. And then they'll be able to um, set up their own password and manage their Intuit account so they can access the QuickBooks online account here. Okay. All right. So I've done that. Now let me go ahead and uh, bring over this screen here. And this is our, our screen that I am now logged in as um, the uh, test tester outer here. So I'm logged in here as John Doe. And I can see here that um, I have a standard section here that gives us um, the different reports here. So I'm going to go ahead and just run the profit and loss report here, show you that I am logged in here. Um, at this point of the time here, I could change any of these credentials. Maybe I want to see it this week to date. All right. And at this point here, if I like that, I can hit save customization. I'll just call it this week to date. Save here and hit save. Awesome. Okay. Now I've got that. I'm going to go back out to the reports and click on the custom report here. And I can see that uh, I have access to clicking on this edit button here. 
which means that now I can actually set up a report group and I'll just call this John Doe group. Save here, okay. And then save and close. Awesome. Now, at this point, I can go in and I can uh, select this edit button here, turn on an email schedule, and I have access to actually set this up so every week, uh, let's say on Monday, that I would like to have this be sent to myself here. So I could go in and just set up a email here and uh, it could go as an Excel file as well. But this is really cool because I now have created my first scheduled email that is ready to go out to, to myself or to anyone else that I'd like to have here be set up here. And then from this point forward, I can actually um, you know, include other reports into that group that's going to get emailed out weekly here. Okay. All right. So um, notice that. Go over. I notice that if I st start to look for payroll, there's no payroll reports. If I type list, normally I would see a customer contact list or a vendor contact list. So as a reports only user, I'm not able to see that. I'm also not able to see the audit log report as well. Um, and then let me share with you. Let's imagine that I was on the the profit and loss. Uh, so detail, let's say I just type detail. Let me go back here, try that again. Here we go, profit and loss detail. So normally we, we would have the ability to click on a transaction. If you're familiar with just the regular reports, can't do that. I, I'm trying to click on these numbers here and none of this is actually allowing me to open it up so that's a that's a limitation as well if you're logged in under the uh, the, the the account there so um, one one last little point here is I'm gonna click on custom reports here I can see these custom reports I can see them and then I'm going to compare it uh, to the custom reports that were on the regular uh, account. So now I'm logged in as the primary admin. I'm going to go to reports here and click on custom reports. And you can see there's quite a lot of custom reports and ones that I have shared out as well. And um, just it's just a matter of timing, just a matter of timing. All these custom reports I had saved in the past, so therefore they will not transfer over to um, to John Doe who has the reports only. So, but when John Doe saves a custom report, it does come over. So I can see right here, John Doe saved this custom report and I can, I can easily, um, you know, navigate in and, and run that on my half here and, and run it. But again, now that I'm logged in as the primary admin, uh, now I would have the ability to actually open up and see the transaction. I would have the ability to, to run audit histories and reports and all that and actually do details with that so hey guys hey, i want to say thanks for watching again it, to get started on setting up reports only users you click on the gear icon manage users and add user from there set up as many reports users as you'd like and now just know you know that what are its limitations and what are its capabilities of adding those reports only users so thanks for watching